Hi Dominic, Harry here at GC Motors. Just gonna do you a quick video of the X6M. I just thought I'd start in the showroom, um, show you a little bit about who we are, what we're about. That May back over there was owned by Lewis Hamilton. So a bit of a claim to fame on that one. Got a nice McLaren's Aventador, super veloce, very rare car. A few Porsches and bits. So as you already know, following a conversation on the live chat yesterday, um, we do price our cars at GC Motors to be the lowest priced cars in the marketplace for the age, the mileage and the specification um, and we do prepare our cars to a very very high standard. Um, again on uh, one day but you'll have realised this car has been fitted with some upgrade alloy wheels which um, are brand new with brand new tyres at a cost of £2,500 but they look absolutely fantastic on the car, they just really really set it off. Long beach blue, black rims with the nice diamond cut edge they look amazing so the car has done very 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 low miles on a 67 plate so condition as you probably expect is lovely there are one or two little bugs in there I apologize on that but it's just been out for a quick drive there are one or two very small stone chips which was a bit of a bug I think. Um, if you're really looking you will see one or two but um, there really is very 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 little on it. At GCMS we do have state of the art facilities on site for the body shop so if there are any marks in the car we do guarantee our cars come with no scratches through the paint, no dents and no marks to the alloy wheels. So obviously these are a brand new set of alloys with brand new tyres on. Um, but on the originals, if there are any marks, um, we would have them refurbished to a very, very high standard. Uh, we do have diamond coating facilities and powder coating facilities on site, which is quite rare for a dealership to have. And we do have spray booths as well if there is any exterior damage on any of the cars that come in. Um, but again, with the age of mileage, this one is in, it's in very, very nice condition. Being the X6M, you do have that quad exhaust, which sounds phenomenal. You do have a parking camera just there. Electrically operated power boot, see just under there. Sorry, it's quite sunny, it's difficult to see. You have got the, the boot closure on there. And then there is quite a lot of storage underneath this little false floor in the back of there. The Long Beach Blue in the car looks absolutely amazing. Beautiful colour. It's conditioned throughout the car on this is really really good. As you imagine with this mileage the, uh, the brakes on this are pretty much brand new. Show you on the uh, on the computer system on these. They're very very good now. All of your service system and everything is already built up into the car, if you like. Back looks like it's never been sat in. Obviously, you've got your tinted privacy glass on the back. There's no marks sort of on the door edges along here where you do occasionally get on used cars um, the odd chip out of it where people have opened it into something. No marks on the wing mirrors. And again, brand new tyres and wheels. So, just jumping into the inside now. All of your controls for your wing mirrors and your windows. And then you have got Harman and Carden sound system in here as well. service is due 15,000 miles or the middle of next year so a while yet on there you can just notice just down in this corner that was mentioned about the the tire pressures uh, with the wheels they just need resetting obviously with the, the new ones being put on so miles in total 1161 still pretty much a brand new car so on your screen it's not coming up very well on here with the Sun 
Um, you've got a number of applications on here. Um, on the My Vehicle, you've got various bits in here. You can set all of uh, you can see on the the right hand side of the screen there. You can set these to Sport Comfort, Sport Plus, um, efficiency on there. You can set it to whoever's driving it as to how you prefer it. So you drove driver profiles there. In your vehicle status, you've got various functionality on here. You've got your tyre pressures, your oil level checks all on there, your service requirements in there. So your service requirements, all of these are okay and you can see down in the right hand side um, when these would need looking at. So all of these are way off in the future just yet. So the car needs for absolutely nothing. And all of your service bits in there as well. You can check your service history on there. So it's had its running done. So click into that, it's the running in service, service carried out to say that's been done. Every time you get it done through a BMW approved specialist, whether it's specialist or BMW themselves, everything's recorded within there. So you don't need to worry about service books and things like that going missing with these anymore. So going back to the menu, you've got your connected drive on there, you've got loads and bits. You can check the weather where you are. I know you just need to look out the window with that, but you know, you've got it, it's nice, nice to have it. You can check it off um, in other areas of the world. News, online searches, a bit of Wikipedia stuff. There's, uh, there's loads of bits on it. You can get different apps on there as well. You can have a look at that. Notifications, that just gives you vehicle notifications. So on here, it's saying that we are a little bit low on fuel, seeing we need to top up, and obviously we need to reset the tire pressure monitors. We can only do that when we're moving. Your navigation, obviously you've got all of your your maps and obviously the ways to, to do it. But the screen on there, I don't know if you can make it out on here, is absolutely massive. So it's a really, really big screen, which is always nice. Okay, back to the menu, you've got your communication for your phone, um, you can get apps for your messaging and things on that, and then your media and radio, you've got your usual, your DAB, FM, AM, your music collection which is basically downloading your music onto here, auxiliary, CD, DVD, Bluetooth, you have got screen mirroring for your phones as well, USB, um, but yeah it's fairly comprehensive on these, there's, there's loads and loads of functionality which is nice, now you'll notice this little button down here, in the center, you can see those lines appearing and disappearing. That is basically just setting your um, your lane departure warning system. On there, you've got all of your air conditioning and some controls for um, your media on there. Down there, that is your sort of central command for your screen. So you've got your menu, media, map, nav, communications, everything on there and using this to toggle through everything just on there. Now down here, you've got your ESC trash control. These buttons all change your driver mode. So you can see down in the right hand corner of your rev counter there, you can change it from sport plus, sport efficient. And that's your suspension settings. Change through them on there again and then your steering response, exactly the same thing. And that one's your, just your power. Parking sensors, hill descent, auto hold, and your gear setups on there as well. Lots of technology in this car. It's a little uh, contraption for holding your phone. I think it does wireless charging in there as well, which is nice if you've got it. And then you've got USB auxiliary in, in there as well. But the condition on the interior of the car with a thousand miles and less than a year old, all of the seats are in beautiful condition. You've got your M Sport emblems embossed into the headrests in these. But all of your stitching, it's a lot, everything's like brand new on the inside of the car. Really, really, really nice. Black roof lining. I've got 
got automatic lights down there and the car just sounds absolutely phenomenal in these. I don't know if you can make it out properly in the, uh, in the video. It's got a very throaty noise, it's lovely. So there's a quick overview of a few of the bits of spec on the vehicle. Bit of a look at the exterior condition. I hope the video helps. Get this in over for you.